Hi, how are you? Today we are cooking a recipe inspired in a typical dish of one of the eight provinces of Andalucía, Córdoba. Córdoba city as the whole province is full of beautiful sites. An example of it, it is its historical center that for me is like a chest full of jewelry. Today we are cooking a twist of their famous flamenquines. Let's review the ingredients, knowing that the real flamenquines are made of pork steaks and serrano ham. In our case, we will use four thick and large slices of low-sodium turkey breast, two thick slices of a wedge of manchego cheese. These are much thicker than the turkey slices. Four asparagus, salt to taste, four large eggs, breadcrumbs, and plenty of olive oil for deep frying. Let's start cooking the dish. We are only going to use the upper part of this asparagus as that's the most tender part. And anyway, our flamenquines won't be a lot much longer than that. Boil them for three minutes and then put them right away in cold water to stop the cooking process. Regarding the cheese, cut each slice into four equal pieces as shown in the image. Let's make the flamenquines. Take one slice and on the edge of one of the longer sides closest to you, place two pieces of cheese connected to each other. Place one piece of asparagus and roll up the slice carefully as it may break. Try to roll it up as tight as you can. Easy. Perfecto. Once we have the four rolls, we are ready for the next step. Whisk the eggs thoroughly. At this point, we need two plates that are a bit hollow. Place the beaten eggs in one of them and a thick layer of breadcrumbs in the other. I will have more breadcrumbs in this bowl on the side. Let's start coating the rolls with egg. You have to coat them thoroughly. And then with breadcrumbs. Thoroughly again. And lastly, transfer it to a plate. When we finish with the four rolls, we need to repeat the process again to make sure that the breadcrumbs layer is consistent. Once we finish, let's put the flamenquines in the fridge with a plastic wrap on top for half an hour, and then they will be ready to be deep fried. In a medium-sized frying pan over medium heat, add plenty of olive oil, and when this is hot, start frying the flamenquines. Don't over fry them, we just need them golden. Transfer them to a plate with paper towel on top, and your flamenquines are ready to be plated and served. You can serve one per person as a main. In my case, I will serve them as a tapa by cutting them all into pieces. I've sprinkled some parsley on top just for color. A little bit of wine and let's eat. French fries and alioli are the perfect combination for this dish. You can serve also as a side a tomato salad. This time I made the alioli with milk that is really buenísimo. Let's try the flamenquines. Mmm, very nice with a little bit of alioli. Mm, this is so buenísimo. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, following and sharing. Have a nice day. Salud. Ah, this is good. Mm, buenísimo. <laughs>